the driver signals from the laser controller that provide the signals to the driver will be wired in this step. In the X terminal, the first terminal is five volts, the second terminal is the pulse, and the third terminal is the direction. The same goes for the Y and the Z and the U. We're not gonna be using the Z and the U, we'll only be using the X and the Y. So the X has five volts, pulse, direction, the Y has five volts, pulse, and direction. I'll be using a three conductor non-shielded cable for this. I'm using the white wire ferrules since this is about 22 gauge. The other side of the cable will require a jump, a jump between the pulse positive and the direction positive. And I'll go over that in a second. So first, remove the insulation. We'll add the wire ferrules. And in this, in this one, the five volts is gonna to go to two different terminals. So I need to connect this little jumper wire with this one. So I'm gonna use the gray because it's got a little more strands in there than actually I think red would be better. And then the white ones again for this side. Okay, so yeah, let me get another one here. Okay, so now we have our cable ready to be connected. On this side, you have three wires, red, white, and black. And on this side, you have uh, three wires, but we have a jumper on this one. So we have red going to two, and then we have the white and the black. I'm gonna connect the white to the pulse and the black to the direction, and the red will go to both pulse and direction but this is mainly five volts. So let's go ahead and connect this one first. So the five volts is, well, let me go to the bottom here, which is gonna be direction. So this is gonna be the direction. I'm gonna go with black for direction. This is direction negative, by the way, because um, we have a five volts, which is positive, and the pulse and direction will both be negative. So let's go with white for the negative pulse, and then the red for the positive five volts. And over here, you'll see that there is a pulse positive, a pulse negative, a direction positive, and a direction negative. So we're gonna connect the red to the both the pulse positive and the direction positive. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the pulse negative first before I do the direction negative, the uh, direction positive, I mean. Now I'll connect the, the red to the direction positive and then the direction negative will be the black. Okay, the x-axis driver has been connected to the laser controller, x-axis signal output for the, for the driver. Let's tuck this wire in down here. We wanna make sure that the, the signal wire here does not come close to the motor wires that will be connected to the motors. Since um, this is not shielded, I'm gonna uh, try to shield the, uh, the motor wires and you'll see how I do that in a moment. The reason why I didn't shield the, the, um, the signal wires for the driver is because there's no ground. There's a ground terminal here, but I didn't wanna take um, the signal back all the way to this ground here. So, and I, I, this is ground is being used for the, for the power supply anyway. So uh, I decided not to shield this wire but shielding the actual motor cable should be sufficient. For the Y-axis, I'm gonna do the same thing. Prepare the cable with the, with the wire ferrules and the, the jumper on one side. Okay, let's connect it to the terminal. This is the y-axis set of terminals here. Put the black on the bottom, which is direction, and white in the middle for the pulse. The pulse is also considered the step, the step terminal, or it can also be called the CP terminal. Some drivers have it labeled as CP. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. The pulse positive is red, white is pulse negative, 
Red is also direction positive, and black is direction negative. All right, let's tuck this in. Okay, so both drivers have signals coming from the laser controller. In this step, I'm gonna connect the x-axis stepper motor, the coil wires, to the driver, to A plus, A minus, B plus, and B minus. These are the coil schematic uh, symbols here. And the wires we'll be using in this motor are the red, the blue, the black, and the green. And I'm gonna connect it to this type of cable, which is a shielded 18 gauge um, four conductor cable, which is shielded. And the shield, this is the shielding exposed wire here, which is always in connection with the shield. And I'll be connecting the red, I'll be soldering the red wire to the red wire here, the blue wire to the blue wire here, the green wire to the yellow wire here, and the black wire to the black wire in the cable. Um, I have a very detailed explanation of how the cable, how the coil configurations work, and um, you, you might want to look at that to um, see why I'm actually not using the yellow and white wires. I'm going to actually cut these two short because I won't need them. These are actually wires that are coming off of the center of the coils from, let's say, the, the red and blue. This is one end of the coil, this is the other end of the coil, and I can't remember which one of these wires, but one of these wires is actually coming out of the center of this coil, and we don't need those. Okay, so I'm gonna put these aside for now, and I'm gonna go ahead and, um, I'm probably gonna cut these a little bit short so I have as much shielded uh, cable run as possible. So I'll go ahead and do that now. On this side, I won't be using the shield. I'll be using the shield only on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of that stuff off. I don't need it. I don't wanna twist these because of the way I'm going to attach them mechanically. To insulate, make sure there's no shorting going on. I'm gonna use heat shrink. I'm gonna put these heat shrink on the wires first so I don't forget to put them on while I'm soldering. If you are new to soldering, try your best not to inhale the fumes. Those fumes are the burning of the flux that's inside of the, the core of this solder. I'm holding my breath, but um, I'm just trying to do as much as I can since I don't have any way of evacuating this. I figure breathing the direct fumes is less harmful or less harm yeah, breathing direct, the direct fumes would be more harmful than holding your breath and then breathing afterwards. The flux isn't good to inhale. Okay, now I can, when this is somewhat cool, I can bring these over the, um, the soldered areas and heat this up. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this to length. I haven't uh, done this yet, and I'm just going to See where I want to route this cable here. I think I'm gonna route it right here on the top. Okay, that should be fine. Got a little bit of slack. Since these are 18 gauge, I'll use the red. All right, so that that's long enough. I'm going to go ahead and heat these heat shrinks. Now I can connect these uh, wires to this terminal. But I want to put this shielded 
or the shielding wire to this ground terminal. So I'm going to do that first. Hopefully they can both live in there and be secure. Okay, it's secure, so that's good. So I'm going to uh, wire this red, blue, black, and then yellow. Red, A+, plus, blue, A-, minus, black, B+, plus, and yellow, B-. Minus. Okay, so that's done. I can go ahead and snip these wires off. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the Y stepper motor. I'm going to make the same connections that I did on the Y axis. I made an error uh, connecting this motor to this driver because this was supposed to be the Y axis. So what I'm going to do just to uh, make this the X axis now, I'm just going to switch these two because right now the X axis is going to uh, this one right here. So all I have to do is disconnect this terminal and connect the y-axis terminal to the x-axis. So now this actually is connected to, wait, what is this? Hold on. Yeah, so this one right here is x-axis, is connected to the x-axis driver, and which is connected to the x-axis motor. And the y-axis, and this motor will now be connected to this driver, where this wire is connected to the y-axis. All right, I'm going to make the same connections as I did on the x-axis. All right, now I'm going to place these wires, just like I did with the x-axis, putting the shielding wire on the ground first. Okay, feels secure. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place the yellow, black, blue, and red. <laughs> 